Hey, so what's going on guys? May here with Driven Tech Reviews and welcome back to another video. So the search is over in trying to figure out how to get CarPlay and also Android Auto to run on the X50 head unit. So of course, it's not a one-step thing. Uh, there are a couple of steps that you need to do in order to get this thing to work. So right here, I have this dongle from Carlinkit. So I've actually reviewed Carlinkit products uh, before, but yeah this was not sponsored i actually had to buy one for myself the price is around like 190 ringgit to 200 ringgit depends on uh, whether you buy during the offer period i've seen some that even go for 160 ringgit so yeah better to buy during the sale on lazada so every month they have the usual sale and then you can get this for like a pretty good deal so i got mine before the sale so i paid around 190 odd ringgit did you get one of this uh, honestly i was actually skeptical whether it would work because uh, you do need to make sure the first step which is getting uh your head unit like sort of rooted uh getting those apps installed uh that is the tricky process but i'm sure most of you guys who own the x50 x70 even the current x90 that's going to be launched uh, are on atlas os because after 2022 i believe uh mid of 2022 is all updated to atlas os so atlas os the process to get uh, the apps installed is different from gkui so gkui is uh i would say a more tedious process but on atlas os in fact is a really uh, i would say simple process but you do need a laptop to get it done of course i'll either link uh, someone else video because i actually watched the video to actually get this installed or i could actually make a video for you guys so do hit me up in the comments if you do want me to make that video but anyways we are here to talk about this dongle and whether it is worth it but yeah since you're here of course a subscribe to the channel would definitely be awesome and also ding the notification bell so you can get notified on the latest videos which i post so without further ado let's get right into review of the carling kit dongle for atlas os and gkui all right so in usual fashion we do have to do the unboxing but of course this uh, dongle is pretty straightforward so let me show you what comes in the package okay, so in the box all you get is of course a dongle which i've already taken out and used it for like two weeks just to make sure and so i can give you guys my full review and yeah some instructions here uh, it's very straightforward if you have used uh, wireless android auto or basically android auto or apple carplay wireless carplay this is basically very straightforward so there are two options you can actually use with this dongle which i'm going to be showing you right here so this is the carling kit dongle so it's super slim of course it's not a detachable usb cable which is kind of sad uh but of course you're not going to be moving this much so the cable is uh probably not so uh prone to like failure but unlike the other carling kit uh, models which i actually use so let's take a look around the dongle itself so you can see branding right here nothing much you have a USB A on one side to actually get this plugged into your car. So at the bottom, you do get this uh, port right here. This is actually for wired Android Auto and Apple CarPlay. So I've not tried Android Auto, but I know it works because I've seen it work on other people's cars. But mainly I use this for Apple CarPlay since I'm an Apple user. So I don't have an Android phone lying around at the moment. So I can't really test it for you guys. But I've been using this as a wired uh, solution, in fact. And it has been pretty reliable, of course. With all wireless products, you do expect some latency. That's something you got to expect. And uh, nothing sounds better than wired. So, slight degradation in uh, terms of uh, sound quality. Slight, super slight. Better than the Bluetooth on the inbuilt uh, head unit, that's for sure. So, the inbuilt head unit is uh, kind of crappy when it comes to sound. It's not balanced. It's much more louder on the right side compared to the left. But this dongle settles all those issues. Uh, in fact, I have a better sound stage, of course. I will give you guys the tour on how I set up my head unit in the full review when I'm doing the full review of this car. Okay, so very simple. All you need to do is to get this plugged in. But before that, let me show you guys what apps I do have on my head unit. So this is actually how everyone's head unit should look like. So this is the app drawer, which I'm going to be showing you guys. So right here, we have the app drawer. So you can see uh, usual apps, uh, then you have some apps which are not pre-installed, of course. So if you guys know, Atlas OS and Spotify have actually sort of like uh, collaborated and created a Spotify app. But apparently, the App Store, not App Store, maybe the Atlas Store, is not working. It's still having the bug where it shows there's no internet connection when there's actually full bar of signal. So before uh, using this dongle, you do have to get this uh, head unit sort of rooted and run some script, stuff like that. So it's all a plug and play thing. You just have to 
put it in the thumb drive and plug it into the USB port and it just runs by itself. So once that was done, it took, a, I guess, a couple of uh, minutes, maybe like 10 minutes. You have to keep the car on, you have to keep the car running. And uh, yeah, you have extra apps like this. So I've already rearranged it. So new pipe is basically uh, YouTube, Spotify, of course, Spotify, Waze. These are the apps that are actually installed on the heat unit. And honestly, in my opinion, uh, they are very buggy. They do not work well. They tend to crash. And the sound quality is still uh, not something I can accept. So we have uh, the basics out here. And then we do have AutoKit. So this is the app that actually you need to run in order to use this dongle right here. So I've actually tried AutoKit with uh, other Carling Kit dongles and it would just not recognize. So I bet the AutoKit app is actually sort of like inbuilt and meant to run with this dongle only. So that's kind of a sad case. If you do have other Carling Kit products, no, they are not. it's not gonna work, that's for sure, because I've already tried it. So one thing about AutoKit, when you get uh, it installed finally on your heat unit, you try not to update it, because I actually went into some issues when I tried to update it. Uh, in fact, the app actually crashed and it just disappeared from the home screen. So I thought I was like screwed. So, but anyways, uh, after rebooting the head unit, it actually came back, but it's on the older version. So in my opinion, do not update it. If it works, that is great. Just leave it there. If, it, if it's right here, that's all you need. So all you need is this app. And then let me show you guys. So I'm going to plug this dongle in to my USB port below here. Okay, so I've plugged it in, so let it start up. Okay, so now I do have to click the AutoKit app. So I've already set up the AutoKit app. Uh, basically, it's a plug and play thing. You don't really need to set up, but I just wanted some uh, customization. So when I start my car, it actually connects automatically and I do not have to fiddle with any settings. So it's something like uh, a heat unit that has inbuilt Apple CarPlay, which is awesome in my opinion. So you click this AutoKit app, you can see plug and play. So once you've inserted the product, you will show plug right here, they will turn green. So yeah, you can see it's green and it's now connecting to my phone. So it is this uh, demo of wireless Apple CarPlay, as you can see right here. All right, so you guys can see this is actually Apple CarPlay on the stock head unit on my X50. Uh, I've seen this work on the X70 as well. So I'm going to be just showing you guys right here what, what I have. You can actually get into something like this. So this is actually the sort of like icons and widgets you can get with uh, Apple CarPlay. So everything works. Uh, you can see right here, it is not that fluid. It is kind of laggy, uh, but it's definitely doable. Much better than using the heat unit's data because I actually had to top up another four gigs uh, because actually Spotify just ate up the data like crazy. And there's only one gigabyte of data per month. And I used up the quota within streaming Spotify for like two days. So that's the reason why we have this dongle right here. So to actually solve those uh, issues. So everything works for my testing. Uh, Waze actually works. Of course, it does uh, skip a little frames here and there uh, because the processor is not that great. So what happens is actually the dongle is its own processor. Of course, your head unit is its own processor. So the head unit actually mirrors what the dongle sees. So this is actually what's running on the dongle itself. Of course, it's, it's going to be laggy. That's for sure because it's not a native uh, app that you're running from the car itself. But uh, honestly, you can see right here, everything works as usual. So of course you can see the lag right here. Sometimes the icon controls do come up for some reason, especially if like tapping the icons at the bottom here. So there are things which are kind of frustrating, but it's better than not having uh, Apple CarPlay at all or Android Auto. So you can see right here, this is actually Spotify. So we do have the car version, of course. This is the car view. So you can actually scroll through whatever that you have listened before. So the in terms of the sound quality, I would say uh, once you have tweaked the DSP on the default heat unit, you have tweaked the settings, the equalizer and stuff like that, it actually sounds really good. It sounds as good as my Volkswagen. In fact, I would say that uh, the speakers on this car are pretty good. So yeah, definitely a pretty good experience in terms of Spotify. So in conclusion, should you get this dongle? Do I think it's worth it? Yes, definitely it's worth it. And I've been using this for two weeks and it has never failed on me. Uh, in fact, uh, I've actually been enjoying using it. Of course, besides the lag, you do have to, you know, give and take here because uh, you actually sort of force running Apple CarPlay on your head unit, which does not support, does not have the hardware that's capable of Apple CarPlay or Android Auto. So 
yeah, definitely it. In terms of frame rate, you're not going to be getting it. In terms of uh, stability, I would say it is stable. It's definitely stable. Never had any issues. I've never actually ran into the wireless CarPlay issues I've been having with my Volkswagen. It didn't glitch out. It didn't uh, lag or anything. It was actually just running pretty smoothly. Spotify sounds a ton better. Trust me when I say a ton better with this dongle right here. In fact, I've been pretty impressed once I actually hooked up the dongle and started playing my Spotify playlist. I've actually been pretty impressed with the X50 sound system. And I think if you guys are still upset on the fact that Proton did not give you Apple CarPlay and Android Auto, you just have to get this dongle. That's all for this video, guys. I hope you guys like it. If you did like it, do give it a thumbs up and subscribe to this channel for more content just like this one. And I'll catch you guys in the next video.